Hey guys, Mel the Train Tutor back again with another little tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be looking at is ways to sort of do uh, sort of growing ivy and, and sort of creeping plant sort of effects up the side of buildings, etc. And we have done a little bit in the past, and what we've done is we've played with the. You see that? Yeah, mini nature stuff, yeah, which is the strips that you can cut off and glue down with a bit of PVA. But in this case, what I wanted to do is sort of show you a technique that you can use with, watch up, loose sort of clump foliage. Now this is foreground, uh, basic material, but you can use any sort of loose clump foliage. You can use scatter, you can throw some clump foliage in a grinder, grind it up and make it finer and use that. Now it isn't so much about what you're sticking onto it to be perfectly honest because that literally depends on you know what sort of plants you want to replicate etc what scale yeah this is more about the glue okay and why we this glue is particularly good for this job okay now this is hobby eat hob e tack yeah adhesive from woodland scenics and it's the stuff I've been using to put on the to put the trees together for the artboard and they're just finished now yeah so I've got some spare and I thought you know what I'll use it for this okay now this is essentially a latex glue yeah this is not a PVA it's not a super glue it's essentially a rubber glue but it is a stay tacky glue okay and that's important now that's the same sort this sort of stuff is the same sort of stuff that you get on the back of post-it notes yeah, that you can peel off, stick on somewhere, peel off, stick somewhere else, etc. And I should say, this isn't the only stay tacky glue on the market, yeah? There's tons. You know, it's just, this is what I've got right now, hence I'm using it. So don't think you've got to go for Woodland Scenics for this, because there are other glues. Okay, and the reason that we're using a stay tacky glue is, yeah, if we were to do this with PVA, then what we'd essentially get, because PVA is essentially a, a water-based glue, yeah, it's very runny. And as we put it on, yeah, there's a good chance that it would run down, it would smudge, you know, bits would fall off, okay? So PVA isn't the best glue to do this with. You can do it. You can tilt things on the side and be very careful, and it does work. But PVA has another problem, which I'll explain in a second, okay? Or you could use something like a super glue. Now, obviously not the liquid super glues, but you could use the gel super glues. I know what you call it, Steve Press Proof, Dark Ops Steve. Steve, yeah, he used gel super glue on the side of all the buildings for the big table he did for Drop Zone Commander that you've seen on a few of my videos, and it works really well, yeah, but it is prone to be a little bit messy at times if you're not careful going down and that sort of stuff, okay, which is why I prefer this because if you go wrong with super glue, yeah, there's not much you can do about it to be perfectly honest. I mean, you can attempt to clean it with acetate and stuff like that, but it's a nightmare job, okay. Which is why I prefer latex glues for this sort of thing. Okay. Now there is another reason why I'm going for what you call it uh, a latex glue over PVA, uh, not particularly over super glue, but over PVA. And this is important. Once we've actually glued our foliage on, which is a dead simple job. Okay. Uh, we need to seal it. Now, you could seal it with matte varnish if you were sealing the piece, but what I want to do is to go in specifically, because I don't want to spray half of this with matte varnish, because then I'll have to spray all of it, and it'll affect the windows, etc. Yeah, so I'm going to go in and selectively, yeah, just brush over uh, a little watered-down PVA. Now, if I'd use PVA to glue the flock down, yeah, that the water in the watered-down PVA would, would more than likely reactivate it, and it'd fall off in bits. Yeah, whereas the latex glues are immune to water. Water doesn't affect them. Okay, so by using a latex glue, it means I can be 100% sure that I can go back, seal it with watered down PVA, which will make it rock solid and, and you know, really good and, and perfect, you know, for, you know, for what we need to do. Yeah, and that's another reason why, you know, this stuff is good for the trees if you're not using it. Hot glue is good as well. I mean, you could use hot glue on this, but once again, we're down to the situation of, you know, if you go off and it gets messy, it's a hell of a clean-up job. Whereas this is a bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on. Uh, I don't know if this will end up being fast-forwarded or not. Now, just to be clear about the hobby tack stuff, yeah, and a lot of these stay tacky glues, they are very gloppy, yeah. You see that? Okay, now obviously I'm not going to use that brush to apply it. I've got my own little brush, a scrag brush. Scrag meaning a throwaway brush. Yeah, now it goes on white, but you have to leave it for about 10-15 minutes, yeah, for it to go 
clear yeah and then when it's clear it's tacky and it will stay tacky and tacky and tacky for, for donkey's ages so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste I'm going to brush them on and I'm going to brush them up here yeah we'll then let it go what you call it we'll then let it go tacky and then well once it's gone tacky what we'll do is we'll come back yeah and we'll throw the, the clump foliage on and then seal it right so yeah slow and steady there we have it guys okay now all we need to do is just wait for that to go nice and clear yeah so if I very quickly zoom in right guys that's all gone clear now and we are ready to stick on our foliage and like I say for this case I'm using this foreground stuff like I say you can use anything that you think is really suitable this is more about the glue than the actual material but you know if you haven't got this stuff Grab a couple of bits of clump foliage and stick it in the blender. Just don't tell the wife. Now, as I said, this is tacky glue. Yeah, so essentially, I should just be able to come along and tack it on. Yeah, now you notice I've got the piece here at a bit of a, what you call it, bit of a slope. Just to make it easier to put on. Okay, and the best bit about this is that I can go back to the bits that I've done, apply a bit more on, and build it up, and really take advantage of all that sort of tacky glue. So, I'll just quickly put the rest of this on. Really need to use my other hand to be perfectly honest. See? Okay, come around here. Now it's going on a bit heavy, but I'm going to tap it, and it's all going to come off, and just leave what we're what we're left with. Obviously, <laughs> another one of Mel's wonderful lines. Yeah. So, oh, don't break it for God's sake, Bose. And there we go. So if I bring that up, yeah, now all that remains is just to seal it, okay, now this is going to be a bit, bit messy, yeah, so that's, I need to get that in picture, don't I, okay, I've got to go a bit easy on this, but, now like I said, when it comes to sealing, you could use a spray varnish, you could use, what you call it, hairspray, okay, but, you know, it would it would carry across onto the piece, so you need to be aware of that. In this case, I don't want to do that. So what I've got here is I've got a wonderful mix of PVA to water. And all I'm going to do is just come in and very gently. I am expecting to lose bits off this because obviously a lot of it is sort of loose on. But I just need to get it sort of soaking in. And that's it. In you go. You're not trying to drench this, you're just trying to place the PVA on because the, the, the actual material, the capillary action of the material will spread the PVA throughout where it needs to go okay, and hold it all tight. You just need to dab it on. So I'm going to carry on dabbing this on and then we'll come back when it's done. And there you go guys, all dabbed on. Now if I bring that up nice and close so you can see, look at that for an effect. Yeah, dead easy. And like I say, yeah, well, you wouldn't be able to do this with PVA as the base because the moment you go in to seal it with watered down PVA, what you get is you, 
it would reactivate the PVA that had initially glued it down and you'd have problems, yeah, because it'd all start falling off. Now obviously, yeah, you can see at the bottom little bits have come off. That's because, you know, there's a little bit, I won't say it's a static charge, but you know, this fine stuff is, it's pretty fine. And it likes to sort of stick to itself, okay? So you do, you will get a little bit coming off, but you can see, ample has remained, yeah? The PVA is soaking down now, yeah? That will all carry down to the bottom, and it will harden, and it will, it will set. I'm not going to say like rock, but it will be really tough. So tough that you'll even be able to come in, yeah? And then selectively, with very, very little light touches of, say, what you call it, a thick PVA, or even our, what you call it, our tacky, our latex-based tacky glue again, just on the tops, and even highlight that. But that's some really easy way of doing sort of vines. And like I say, the, the key point of this is using the latex glue and the stay tackiness of it, yeah, to get around the problems of sealing it, to be able to work it properly without messing up a piece. Okay, so I hope you found it useful, guys. Yeah, and put that back down there so you can see it in all its glory <laughs> for what it is. Right, so I've got more bits of this that I'm going to carry on working with and that sort of stuff. I'll do a few more vines and that sort of stuff on it. I might even trace those up a bit more. We will see. But once it's dried, I'll be able to do that. They'll be perfectly fine while they dry. So, guys, as always, yeah, I hope you found this sort of tip on using tacky glue really useful for vines and stuff like that. Uh, as always, like it if you like it. If you've got any comments, any questions, any suggestions, throw them in the comments. I always answer my comments. Yeah, if you know anyone this would be useful, give it a share. And then finally, if you really like what I do, yeah, check out the Patreon link, guys. Yeah, it really does help me. Right now, I'm trying to kit out the, the kitchen ready for doing live shows from the kitchen. So, every little helps, yeah? But as always, yeah, I will continue to produce tutorials and that product reviews and everything for everyone, no matter what. It's to help me do that. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. So have a cracking evening, and I'll see you shortly. All the best, yeah? Tara.